Hi, I'm CJ, and welcome to my RC hobby. Uh, I have another edition for you of what's in that box, or in today's case, boxes. Uh, got a couple in today, and I'm going to move the camera so I can show you uh, all the goodies that came in. Okay, let's start with the smaller of the two boxes. It's always so much fun having a whole bunch of stuff show up, not knowing what's in the box. Okay, uh, this is a Spectrum dongle. Um, as some of you may know, I bought a new radio. I got a Gen 2 DX8 by Spectrum, and uh, I have the... Um, I have the uh, RF8 RC simulator software, and I was using that with my FlySky. Wasn't as good a connection because it's not exactly compatible. You have to kind of rig up a cable and then kind of futz around to get the controls to work right because the FlySky isn't inc included in uh, the RF8 software as a um, as a compatible transmitter, uh, but this one should work fine. And this is the uh, the wireless dongle, so I'll be able to connect uh, to the computer without having to have the transmitter on a tether. So, looking forward to that. Okay, and this is a Coleman Sunwall for a 10 by 10 canopy. It can get really hot out at the field. It's really nice to have some shade. Uh, I have a, a 10 by 10 canopy on order and uh, I wanted to have the, uh, the sun wall. So when the sun starts is either, you know, in the morning or in the evening, the sun's getting low in one direction or the other you can uh, block the sun and it's not just for for personal last time i was at the field with one of my gliders uh, i left it in the sun for a little while and a piece of plastic that uh, is the faux cockpit uh, under the canopy it's uh, you know got a little uh, pilot figure a bust figure and that piece of plastic started to melt and deform and uh, don't want that to happen again so you know covering your airplanes at the field with a cloth and or putting them in some shade is a, a good way to go it can save you some money excuse me while I on my spectacles. Okay, this is a interesting little item that I thought I'd pick up. It's a uh, a little mini vise, and these pegs uh, can go in any of these four holes so that you can uh, hold odd shaped or round devices a um, little metal flashing there to clean up and this can obviously uh, bolt down to a, a wood tabletop having things like this you know it's not exactly your normal rc tool but sometimes you've got to you know customize things you got to drill a hole and you need that hole to be in the perfect spot um, and because this is flat and it's got those uh, those holes in the bottom I can even attach this to probably attach this to my drill press and that way you the item is exactly where you need it perfectly centered and uh, you can get the right hole at the right angle in the right spot and that can mean a lot because uh, small imperfections in a build um, can yield bad flight characteristics Okay, what do we got here? Uh, another thing I've been needing, I'm 
betting that this is my new caliper. Yes. I've been making do with a uh, cheap plastic manual caliper. This isn't a very expensive one for sure, uh, but hopefully it will do a lot better job. So I'll, uh, I'll go over this at a later time. Um, probably not going to bother doing an unboxing video on that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, this is another tool for around the shop. This is an extremely small bit drill set. Some of these are down to, I believe, a third of a millimeter or uh, a tenth of a millimeter. Um, you're not going to find this in your normal hardware store. Uh, getting small drill bits is very important for certain types of projects. It's not very expensive. It's the kind of thing you'll find on Amazon. I highly recommend getting one of these. Um, especially if you start doing anything custom of your own, you want to start uh, doing some unusual builds. The uh, size bits that you're going to get in an off-the-shelf set from your hardware store are just not going to cut it. Okay. Been wanting one of these for a while. It's a small digital scale. I want to be able to weigh various components. Um, that way I can get an idea before the build uh, how much the glider or um, airplane is going to weigh at the end of the day. This will also work for uh, RC cars or, uh, or anything else for that matter. have some AAA rechargeable batteries. Don't need to discuss those in any detail. You know what they are and the, th the things they can be used for. Okay, another box out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. bunch of stuff here. Ah, nice big sand disc. Um, no, it's not big. It's 64 gigabyte. I'm probably going to want some larger ones down the road, but uh, this will definitely help me out. Uh, here we have some uh, solder. This is a, uh, a clean type of solder, no acid uh, in the flux. So that's good to have. Uh, resin for uh, fiberglassing. This is uh, high temp masking tape. It's a uh, kind of a clear gold colored tape. If you've ever uh, disassembled a lipo, uh, you've undoubtedly seen this stuff. It's good for uh, wrapping electronics. Uh, if you're building custom batteries, things like that, you definitely want to have this around. It comes in several sizes, several widths. Ah, uh, <laughs> organic stevia, not for hobby use. And here we have a variable temperature heat gun. And uh, I may do an unboxing video on this. It's not that exciting an item. Uh, 120 volt, uh, 1700 watt. Basically a, basically a uh, mechanics uh, blow dryer. This is great for doing heat shrink tubing, tightening up uh, heat shrink covering, or for uh, if the covering gets loose, retightening it. If you're removing covering from a wing, this can be a very handy item as well, or you're removing it from a fuselage or any other part of an airplane. So 
So that's it for today. I hope you had fun watching that. Please click like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, please click the little bell icon and you'll get notifications. So if you can do those all three for me, that would be fantastic. It would be greatly appreciated. Helps me keep putting out videos for you.